Hello everybody, welcome into the Green Room Nursery. For a quick update, it has been one week since I put those uh, four grocery store items into the ground and uh, figured we'd start off this weekend update by taking a look at those and seeing how they're doing. So let's get started. First off, check out this carrot top. This thing has exploded with growth. So for that aspect, it seems to be doing all right. I have no idea if it's gonna grow a root under there or not. I'm not pulling it out to check just yet, but those greens are sure looking good. Now check out these green onions. This is where I cut them seven days ago, just at the top of the cup if you recall, and clearly they've grown quite a bit. So I'll be able to take another harvest off of these really quite soon and probably every week that follows. But I'm not going to keep updating these in the water because, as I mentioned, when I put them in, I'm going to put them in some soil, put them downstairs, and they've become part of the kitchen. In fact, let's just do that now. All right, a little soil in there, and they're basically good to go. Next up, we've got the celery here, which really hasn't done anything yet. So I think um, if it hasn't sprouted up again in a week, we'll, we'll say one more week, then uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and pull off some of the outer pieces and put a much smaller core back in maybe that will work and then for the last grocery store item we've got the avocado pits here which don't seem to be doing much this is still just cracked and sitting possibly too immature as a seed and this one here I don't know maybe I didn't clean it well enough looks like it's getting a little bit of fuzzy action going on there but it's only been seven days and I've heard they can take forever to root so it's gardening, you know? It's kind of all about waiting. We, we'll see what happens. Now, as for the rest of this mess, all my peppers and such... Oh, let's take a look at those willow cuttings. As you can see, these ones are doing much better than the ones in the aquaponics. Sprouting out branches and leaves already. Look at that. This is the one that's just in the water. That's awesome. So, clearly that cutting's doing quite well. A little watering station set up here. I'm just basically dunking each inner cup in until it no longer sucks up water and then putting it back in its outer cup and switching it all up. It takes a while but gets everything evenly watered. Nothing sprouting up yet in that last batch of seedlings. Still hopeful. These things take time. Here we can see one of those snake plant cuttings that I'm trying to root. Nothing popping up out of the soil there yet. But the top of it has sealed and looks like it's healed. So that's, that's a step along the way. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer before I see some uh, new growth popping up out of the bottom of the cup there. But don't really know until you do it, right? This cute little tiny nothing of a plant is the beginning of a lemon tree from uh, a seed kept out of one of the lemons in the fridge. have no idea if it will grow up to be an edible lemon or not, but... Ah, the journey is the joy, right? This one out of my two beefsteak tomatoes is not looking too great after the transplant, but it is still alive, so I'm letting it grow. It's got lots of time still. It's snowing outside today, so yeah, no great rush. Got my Malabar spinach seedling here doing almost as well as Revs. Well, who am I kidding? It's on its way to doing well. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to having that as an edible house plant kicking around, maybe in the stairwell, not sure. All depends on light. Got all those cucumbers, got the mouse melon here. This is um, one of the zucchinis. I already transplanted one out of there into a cup, and the other one's just gonna, gonna stay in there for now. Need that container back though, so. We got some of the tomato seedlings from Rob Bob. They're in the back there. Sprouting up. They're a little leggy because I can't quite get enough light in there, but they get their rotation and they get moved over closer to light and everybody takes turns. Picked up a couple more sleeves of cups here, so I'll be good to do some more transplanting soon. Which is good because I've got a lot more planting to do. Still got a whole herb garden to get planting here, so definitely going to need those extra cups. I ended up burying a piece of ginger root, well rhizome I guess, in this bucket here. It's hence the moisture in the middle. We'll see if that sprouts up for me or not. That would be nice to try and grow again. Ginger is so delicious when it's like freshly uprooted. Oh, I cut back the super chili to try and encourage some new growth. Seems to be working. 
Although, looks like I need to get those ladybugs going around here. We've got that infestation creeping up again. Time to harvest the ladybugs from all over the windows and walls where they've wandered off to. Get them back to work. The El Jefe still hasn't fallen over dead yet. So, I guess that's promising. These are adorable. Have you ever started asparagus from seeds? These things come up so tiny. But, there you go. You know, it's kind of a super quick update on the seedling room. The green room nursery. Whatever you want to call it. So I'm hoping during the course of next week I'm going to get the opportunity to plant out those herbs and uh, maybe get a little work done in the aquaponic garden with that IBC tote uh, if the snow ever melts out there. Jeez. But uh, yeah, so by next weekend we might have uh, an update worth checking out. But either way, thank you for joining me today and I'm going to wrap it up there. Have yourselves a fantastic week ahead, guys, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye. Oh yes, the question of the day. I received a bucket of some worms the other day. Yesterday, actually. And um, some of you may be aware I nicked Shox's worm garden years ago. I think we still have pieces of that around. But um, if you have a video either that you've posted or that you've watched that you feel is the, the video on building a worm farm, Please link it in the comments below. I will uh, rescue it from the spam filter, as always, because I need to get started on making myself a worm bin.